Oh, well, whatever. Let's kick his ass. What a giant expose fan. Why would you expose your engine? That's exposing your weakness. Man, he's not wearing any pants. This is kind of awkward. Creeping the shit out of his propeller. <laughs> not sure what he's going to do. Yeah. Okay, it's just a simple shot. So that's what pig shot is. I was going to say it's Storm. I should hit him with some wind magic, which Oliver doesn't surprisingly have any of. But, this guy has it. Yeah, well, it does. Ow! Dick! That was very rude. Oh yeah, you like to move around a lot, don't you? Let me guess. This thing might be different from the tank we fought before, but it's got the same weaknesses as the earlier machine. Yeah. Storm magic. I wonder if what's this face has a storm awakening or whatever. Let's try Marcus and if I get a supercharge. I haven't been doing any other supercharges. Uh, yeah, that's right. I'm gonna hit him with good old Robo. He doesn't move away. But he did. Oh, wait, I hit him, I think. Heal Marcus in. Oh, shit. I can't, can't, can't. Ah, damn it. Damn that momentarily freeze the animation when I do a magic spell. It's annoying. Why did it do that? It's a part of your tactics. You're not supposed to do it when he's about to attack. Uh, that's all I, oh, and fully refreshed. Ready to short circuit him. 61, not bad. Shit. <laughs> okay. Heal yourselves, dudes. Real. Okay, I'll throw a kitty kitty in. Kitty kitty bang bang! Damn, if only I had wind spells, or wind weapons on me, which I do, but not on me, I don't think. Moccasin! Grab it! Let's see what is this. Prince's Blessing. What the fuck? Ow! Looks like a heal spell. It is. Well, I, I know now. <laughs> Defend Marcuson. I'll do my best. Oliver. Why did it? Was I out of its range? That's rude. Why would I not get your buffs? You, you weren't there, Oliver. If you were there, you would have gotten it. Well, excuse me for being over there. Ow. Wow. This thing taking 90 damage? You must be taking astronomical damage for it. Feeling that. Ow. Please. Heal. I curl into a ball. Perfect time to be a tank. Oh! Are gonna have a second awakening move? Is Mohawk a gear? Hmm. That's an idea. Time to play coward! Beat the shit out of my homies! Put the spot. Huh. How did Esther get hurt so badly? What the hell happened? Oh! Okay, uh, I got knocked out. What an asshole! Uh, yeah, he does not have wind. I always throw, get thrown out. I'm like, wind spell! He has every type except storm. Marcuson has that. It seems like he only has an AoE. Into a trash can mode! Oh! I'm in pieces! Rip him! Short circuit! I will disassemble you! 
Crime Penny number five. That's why I shouldn't win them. Thirty-five. Nah, uh, it has to be a stupid little robot. It looks like ET. Oh, stunned, bitch. Go! He's vulnerable. Hit him in the balls. Where that little spinning propeller is. Yeah. Awakening mode. And I look like shit. Hey, it's armor. Makeshift armor. Don't hate me for it. Really, arm attack. Rip him. Oh, great. Oh, shit. Good thing I blocked it. I'll grab this with Ola. Ollie boy. Awakening! Ultimate Burning Heart! Oh! If only I had a storm spell that I could do on an option for a supercharge. My special to fire. Eat robot scum. Is there another pig shot? Come on, bitch. Get over here. I just go all out. Shit. Come on, too, too early. Sid, you're gonna get hit. Now, if I had my airship, I wouldn't get hit. But nope, I didn't have it. Oh, why do you do that? Ha ha ha. And cannon attack. Porco locomotive will suffer the pain of another robot beating the shit out of you. I always wanted to watch Battle Bots again. <laughs> wow, what is it, 2013? I'm talking about Battle Bots? Hmm. I'm concerned for myself too. <laughs> hey, don't get me wrong, Battle Bots was awesome. <laughs> uh, sh uh, he's not gonna do anything? Yeah. Oh, there he goes. I precognitively predicted the pig shot. Oh, but I didn't predict that. Are they defending? Oh. Except the fuck Marcuson's familiar. Oh, no, no, come back! Aww. He went away. Bullshit. Bullshit! Why did it fly away? Now, if this was built in Soviet Russia, it would have been built a little more firmly. What is with all this scrap metal? Looks like it was done by makeshift German engineering. Oh shit! Uh, heal yourselves! Oh, okay, I'll block. I got his attention. Aha! Sharp timing, Holly boy. Oh shit, he's doing that again. Shit. Yeah, I have to tell him to do it the right time. Battle bots time! Beat him shit! Beat him shit! Beat the shit out of him! Oh. Short circuit! Ow. Shit! He's got my attention now. Nice! Oh. Oh. Lightning bolt! That was not nice how you shot a lightning bolt on my side. How did you do that? You just mysteriously summoned some sort of electronic force that hit me from the side. How did that work? Mm. 
on my lightning bolt. Yeah. You're almost dead, bitch. Heal yourself. Oh, ow. Don't hurt me, don't hurt me. I'm just a little boy. Oh, yes, it's gonna be a time to go. Oh, well. Oh, but this will finish him off. Time to finish him off. We style, baby. And I love style. Have a fireball on me. Speaking black. Am I random enough? Ah, uh, what the fuck? Gyro Grappler. What the fuck can I use that for? Maybe it's used for one of Swain's weapons. Hmm. Level, level, level. Level all around. Now for our cutscene. To end our cutscene. It's time for your magic. Right. You have to prompt her every time. Each different character did it. <laughs> you think that means everyone in Hamlin is cured now? You think? I mean, it hasn't stopped working now. Yep. Which means it's time for the prince to tend to his per tend to his people. Your Majesty, the city is in ruins. We have been invaded by wild beasts. I'd watch what you call them, if I were you. Uh, us? We were the beasts? This is terrible, your majesty. Did we attack you? Calm yourselves. As you can see, I am unharmed. And I am more concerned about the state of our great city. But our chief... Con but our chief... Con <clears throat> our chief concern should still be, be to discover the cause of all this. Until I have done so, I must leave Hamlin in your hands. Captain Hogarth. Hogarth? Really? <laughs> he got teased as a kid. Your orders have <clears throat> are to begin con reconstruction immediately. Yes, Your Majesty. You go to war, do you not? You must take our latest technologies with you. Alchemy? So I have to make it? Basically, he's giving me blueprints to make it so he's not really giving me the guns but whatever your forefright is welcome as ever captain I leave the Empire in your capable hands blimey you actually sound like an Emperor for a moment there yes it was all it was like I was seeing a completely different person I made a promise to my brother Ahem. In any case, Hogarth is a fine leader. He can be relied upon to rebuild Hamlin while I am gone. There's trusting you are, Rido. <sighs> Rido, let's head back to the wait the Iron Raver, shall we? Only boy, cast travel to the flying Iron Waver. How do we get up there? We can't all be on a Tangri. Oh well, fast travel. <laughs> We have saved the three kingdoms from the scourge of the mana. As representative of the peoples of this world, I give you a heart my our heartfelt heartfelt thanks. You're welcome, but it's all thanks to P, really. Yay, thanks to P. <laughs> and yet, we are no longer closer knowing it was who it was sent who sent the mana to assail us. Your magic allowed us to avert, tra avert tragedy unthinkable of unthinkable propor proportions be. Yeah. But we cannot allow this to happen again. Too right, Mun. We need to find whoever is behind all this and give them a proper hitting. Hi hiding? Hiding, I guess. Whatever. But we have no idea who it could be. Perhaps not. Although something about P's story has been troubling me. It has? When we were in your world, she 
when you we were in your world, she told you that the ash was falling, the ash falling was her fault, did she not? Well, sure, but hey, there's no way it was her. That's impossible. Does it not also mean? Does it not also seem possible that a tiny child should have the ability to reverse the effects of the mana? And yet we have seen with our own hands she is not only a. She's not the only reason I think we she may not may be able to tell us more. I believe P may hold the key to unlocking this entire mystery. Yes, P's got the key. Oh, so you found another flower, did you? Great. Let's have another look at that pretty young that pretty young queen. Is that really time for your stupid comments? We need we need to take this seriously. Indeed, I fear our next this next vision may not be a pleasant one. No matter. We must we, we must see the truth of our own eyes. P, would you be so kind? Here. Yeah. Why do you always have to do that transition? Ah. I'm never going to see again. How? How could this happen? Every man, woman and child in my kingdom. How? Why did this happen? <laughs> that sounds funny. I was meant to help them. Not, not this. Tell me why. My name is Cassiopeia. I am queen of Nazcar. When I was a child, I was known as P. I lived together with my father and did not want for anything. Then, when my beloved father passed away, I ascended the throne, little knowing what horrors awaited me. <laughs> Ignorant of the affairs of state, I allowed the Council of Twelve to control everything. But the Council paid not the slightest heed to the well-being of my subjects. I had always thought of Nazcar as a peaceful realm, but now... I saw that it was blighted by greed and torn apart by conflict. The scales had fallen from my eyes. I felt the desperation of those ground down by poverty. I felt the pain of those fighting for survival. And I saw how I had lived a gilded life of luxury. A life they could never hope to enjoy. I decided that I must change. I would work for the good of others and do all I could to eliminate conflict. That is how I arrived at my decision. That is what drew me to the spell that would save the world. The mana. When I came to use that spell, not a doubt clouded my mind. I was certain that the mana would purify the hearts of my people. But then, my dream of peace turned into a nightmare. All those whom the manor touched became beasts and turned upon each other. For years, the nightmare went on. The years stretched to decades. And still it continued. Then one day, I realized there was no one left. The council was gone. The guards were gone. My ladies in waiting, too. They were all gone. The manor I had unleashed had claimed the lives of every one of them. I am completely and utterly alone. But death is a privilege I shall never know. And who can say what this endless solitude may make of me. That is why I have decided to fill these flowers with my memories. If you have found this flower, I pray that you will find your way to me. That is my only wish. Until then, I shall be waiting, always waiting, alone in Nazcar. <laughs> 